Hey YouTubers, Coin Digger here with another type of video. Where I'm going to do some coin roll hunting. Got a $25 box of pennies, and it seems to be a good mixture. I see a lot of copper pennies in there through the holes, and even one Ender wheat penny. So it's guaranteed to have at least one wheat penny. Um, I will start doing this in a about an hour or so and I will video anything anything of uh, great finds or um, little updates here and there before the final wrap up but this is going to take me a while a lot of pennies but see you in the next segment is hey, just an update I'm down 10 rolls now uh, I've got four wheat pennies uh, one 1959 pile of 60s pile of 70s and these are copper 80s and then I'm uh, setting aside an example of each from 1975 through current 2014 um, of each mint type if I find it the best examples I can find so I'm going to be filling up these these bo uh, books right here this is 1909 to 1940 this is 1941 to 1974, and I'll be getting um, another book from 74 till whenever, and then if there's another one after that, tomorrow from the coin shop. So that's why I'm setting aside the examples of those other ones now. And here's the rejects. There's still a lot of nice looking coins in there, but I'm not keeping them all. So, see you on the next update. Right, here's another update. I've been through 20 rolls now. Got six wheat pennies. The oldest is a uh, 1941. Let's see. I've been filling out a lot of these. So I'm still looking for better, um, better 2000 whatever. I mean, better pennies with the D mint mark. Uh, some of them I just found are the only ones that I found, and they're kind of dirty. So I'll be looking for better ones for those. Uh, got one, let's see, right here, 2009 so far, with the capital on it. And then these are like some odd ones. That one's got some, uh, interesting, um, uh, color to it, toning. This one has some, a weird issue going on with the surface of it. Let's see if we can tell. It's like all bubbly and stuff. Not really bubbles, but it's very rough and it hasn't. It looks pretty good condition, other than that. So, other than, other than that, <coughs> it's not much else uh, to update you on. And I'll see you on the next ten rolls, unless there's something spectacular. All right, this last roll I had was a great roll. It had three wheat pennies in it in a 1959. This is the oldest wheat penny to today, or today, it's 1918, plain, and it looks like something was punched th almost all the way through it, which is really weird. It bulges out of Lincoln's neck. And then there was a 1956 D, a 1953, and a 1959 plain, but in the roll before that, I found 1974S, my first estimate mark of the, of the box, and I actually needed it for my book, so that's a good find. So, see you on the next good roll or good find. Here's a quick update. I got more wheat pennies in the rolls. Let's see, there's 10 on the top row, 9 on the bottom row. Uh, got another 74S. And I got 71S. So far I got three 2009s, two of the capital ones, and one, uh, I believe it's his presidency or something like that. And then um, those ones are just uh, weird toning or weird surface. And over here we have the 59s and 59Ds. 
if it would focus at all. And we got ten rolls left. We got our 60s, 70s, and 80s through 82. Some of the 82s I don't put in here because I just can tell that they're not copper. Um, so, see you in the next update. Alright, here's the wrap up for the box of scents, Lincoln scents. Uh, the highlights are, I got 22 wheats. Um, there's some that I didn't have from my books, so very uh, happy to have those. Uh, the oldest one was the 1918, right here, and the rest were 40s and 50s. Got three of the 2009s, two 74s's, one 71s. All these up here I'm going to be putting in books. Seems to be the only ones I'm missing are 2011 and 2012 D's. And of course all the S's. Didn't find any of those. And it looks like 2007 D. And 2000, or, uh, 1975 D. Um, if they made it, I don't even know. I'll have to check later. Uh, let's see, the 50s, 9s, we got 5 of them, I believe there's 1D in there, and then we have the 60s, 70s, and 80 through part some 82s. So overall, uh, wasn't too bad of an experience, uh, took a long time, took few hours but definitely do this again I'm gonna keep uh, all the keepers up top probably 59 or the 59s um, I'm debating on keeping all the copper I have been keeping all the copper from metal detecting so I may just keep all these if I have the room for them in the jar that I keep all the other ones and I did switch out a lot of these scents um, for higher quality specimens I did switch some of them already but I'm going to be uh, switching out a few more like this the 1918 even though the other one is highly worn it just looks better than this one this one's pretty dirty I'll still keep it of course and I'm soon to be filling out a lot more of these spots my dad has a whole bunch of corns that I need he said he was going to give them to me next time I see him. Um, but that's it. Hope you enjoyed uh, this corn, corn, hey, coin roll experience. Coin roll hunting experience. And I uh, hope to do more of them in the future. I have to um, build up a bank roll to use so I can do larger, um, coin, larger denomination coins and stuff. But... Until next time, this is Coin Digger. Have a good one.